So in hopefully under two minutes, I can show you how to create breakout rooms in Zoom. So make sure that you log in. After you're logged in, go to down to settings. Then the fastest way to get to the breakout rooms is hitting in meeting advanced. And then you'll notice that the first thing that pops up right there underneath meeting advanced is the breakout room. When you probably go in, you'll notice that it's unchecked. So then check it. And then I checked this box also. So what I'm going to do is start a Zoom session really quickly and show you what it looks like now. Um, you've gained a new little, kind of like an icon on the bottom of your Zoom conference. So I'm just going to open Zoom. So you're going to see two of me now. And then um, the cool thing is down here, you've got your breakout room down at the bottom there now. That shouldn't have been there until you check that box. Click that. Now I don't have any participants, so that's okay. I can still, you know, make as many rooms as I want. Um, so let's say I want to do, you know, eight different rooms. I can put the students or the, your, you know, your members, whoever join your meeting manually or automatically. I'm just going to hit automatically. And then you can name these rooms. So you can hit like, um, I'm going to chemistry teacher. So I'm going to hit say team carbon. And then, yes. And then the cool thing is you can delete that room. You could assign people in. I can't do that because I don't have any participants at this point. Um, and then you can always move students from room to room. So that's as that's as that's it. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to close this out, hit end meeting, um, and hopefully that helps you make some breakout rooms in Zoom.